So I'm messing around with the checkout blocks in WooCommerce, and we just published this tutorial kind of showing how you can add additional fields to the checkout form with like very minimal amounts of code. Um, it kind of does a lot of things out of the box that you used to have to do manually, like, you know, storing the data, sanitizing it, all that sort of stuff. It's pretty cool. So I'm going to see if I can get Cursor to do it for me because we have some new tutorials on the blocks, how to add these additional fields and how to make them conditional. Um, what I'm going to do is just give these docs to Cursor and just tell it to build it. And I don't know, we'll see how well it does. So we have this little button to copy it to uh, Markdown. So in here I have Cursor open. I have a new notepad. That's kind of where I like to just throw random things that I might need. So it copies all the block, the documentation, paste in there. I also want this one about conditional stuff. Um, let's just go to the bottom and paste it in there. So... We just have a bunch of stuff in here. I'm going to make sure it's referenced in the chat. And then I just have an empty directory that's the start of a plugin that I just haven't added any files to. So um, let's create a WooCommerce plugin. Maybe I'll zoom in a little bit so you can read it. That adds custom conditional fields to the checkout block and doesn't do anything else like load translations because cursor loves making translations for you, which I don't want. Translation files. Uh, the two fields I want are add gift note, which is a checkbox, and just gift note, which is a text area field. So I think that's kind of all I need to say. Let's just hit enter and see what happens. So cursor is basically going to be very positive. Tell me that it's going to be able to do it. It's going to start by creating the plugin itself. And up here I have my notepad as like the context. So it should be very specifically following this tutorial. Um, if you look at the tutorial, it's pretty basic. There's really just this function about register additional checkout field. And what's cool about it is it has options for different locations where you can add your field. Um, different field types that it supports. It has um, things like dropdowns and checkboxes. Um, you can do like custom attributes to have it like render the field with all that sort of stuff. Um, you can do a validation and sanitization callbacks. So that's super helpful. It's all in one place. You're not like hooking into a bunch of things. Um, and then they give you an example of like how to get that data out when you want to add it to other places. And they have a full example here. So I could read the tutorial or I could just let Cursor read it for me. Okay, so it's finished. So it created the file and it created a readme for my plugin. So that's very nice. Um, and it kind of tells you what it did and all that sort of stuff. So let's see if it did a good job. Um, check if WooCommerce is active. Cool. I mean, it could use the required plugin also thing. But yep, it's using that WooCommerce register additional checkout field. Um, add gift note. It's a checkbox and it goes in the order location. And then here you can see Here's the gift note. It's a text field. It has um, some additional properties where this first field has to be true. Otherwise, it won't show or be, or that's to make it required. Here's to make it hidden um, if it's true. And a little placeholder and stuff. So kind of does everything right there. Um, let's head, let's um, head over. I think we need to activate the plugin. So WP plugin activate. And what did I even call it? Uh, example woo checkout fields. Example woo checkout fields. It's already active. Okay, cool. So let's go back to our checkout page and just reload it. Cool. So now I have a new field here, add gift note optional. And if I check it, the gift note shows up. Um, I think if I try to submit my order, it's going to have that validation. The checkout box is kind of nice. It's like very instant validation, that sort of stuff. Um, and I could move it around and put it in different places if I wanted to. So pretty handy. I really like these functions. They're very simple. They do kind of a lot of the heavy lifting for you. Um, and then you can just like use it anywhere. And then uh, some other kind of cool things you can do is if you want to extend it, you can tell it to, hey, show the, show the field. Um, can you show the field on the order screen? And you can do that. It's going to use the context that it has. Um, you can also point it to the WooCommerce documentation. There's like some LMS files and stuff like that. Um, 
but pretty handy. I think these functions are pretty cool. I think cursor's ability to do this stuff is pretty cool. Um, you can see here that it's writing all of the code to grab the fields and show them in the order screen and after the order details and that sort of stuff. Um, it's dealing with linter errors, which is uh, something cursor can do that I don't want to do. Um, but overall, super cool and exciting. Let me know if you want to see anything more weird or custom with these checkout fields or if there's other sort of like extensibility examples that you'd like to see.